Hi there, sign of Aries. This is Kim here to do a reading for you guys. I'm getting kind of like a jump start on my weekend reads for you all. So, accept this Palo Santo for your blessing for your space also. And let's get into this reading. And thank you for the outpour of support for my private readings. Those are recorded for you. Within 48 hours, you should see it, receive it back as a private video link. And thank you for all the support, because I have gotten a lot. It's uh, in the description box if you want to, wow, if you want to uh, get one. Conjunction and the peacock's tail, huh? All eyes on you. All eyes on you. Um, watching you, your colors shine, dang. A spark of light in the conjunction. The conjunction card is a divine merging, a union. Divine counterparts. And there's a spark of light because it's the spark. It's the spark you feel. I saw gold too. Okay, what else do you have for Aries? Silver, luxuries, pleasures here on, on earth. Past is the past. Yes, well, you must polish the silver with the ash. <laughs> that's, that's what they used to do. Um, polish things with ash. So, there's something that you are polishing off of yourself. I look at that as a memory with this silver is that whatever looks like tarnish or dark areas um, all but a memory at this point uh, and it's time to polish it it's time to make some big big uh, decisions too with Saturn some big decisions during this time have some, some kind of really strong effect for you all with you all all right so you're polishing your silver. You're getting ready uh, to shine, all right? Okay, let's pull a Celtic cross. Oh, four Aries. Okay, what's the issue? The world nice there's a new chapter a new um, elevated experience for you something very high vibrational a new something new it's fixed it's uh, faded and fixed Wow good news is coming this uh, oh wow okay well with the page of wands and the ash car that you're getting I would say that this has got um, a rising Phoenix vibe to it for sure you are the uh, blazing fire phoenix rising from the ashes about to shine about to really really shine what's at the heart of the matter for aries what's at the heart of the matter the seeds that you've sown so far, this this to me is coming. It's coming across like that Saturn area, like um, you know, the choices and consequences, long-term decisions, what you're wanting to invest in, and um, this is matters of the heart. It's maybe taking matters of the heart very seriously as to what you want to invest in. Patience with yourself is needed. Also, this is kind of saying that there's going to be things that you don't want to invest in. And what are those things? It's like the heart is making some big decisions that are definitely affecting or going to affect the um, material world. Okay, what's the past, past energy? The magician. Dang, you've got some good energy. 
So, yeah, you, you're working with the magician, and that energy, that archetype, is somebody that is very well, well aware of their magic and of their power to be the top of the pinnacle, the, uh, the spirit that controls all of these things. It's one with all of these elements, actually. And here to create with that, whatever you want, whatever you want to man manifest. What's the goal and destiny spot? Oh. Okay, a lot's wanting to come out, but I do want them to flip out, okay? Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands, um, stuck inside there. So that, that might be an energy that we're getting out of, unstuck from. Wow, okay, this says a lot. Your um, perseverance and and being able to withstand maybe even a lot of spiritual attacks is here. You have a spiritual strength that is like impeccable, like a force to be reckoned with. Now it looks like the main thing you would have to deal with are um, to pull yourself out of a feeling of restriction in your mind or obsessing overly about the things that we can't move around or think we can't move around. Um, looking more for the opportunities in it instead of the, like not focusing on the limitations or you know what I mean? Like focusing on the, the ways that you're free more so than how you're restricted. And then that energy because it's given focus and attention will multiply for you and this will become obsolete. So then you have the four of wands, and so it looks like your perseverance, your um, spiritual strength is leading you to a milestone met. Um, could be coming together with different partnerships and alliances, 11-11, it could be soulmate energy. It could represent a wedding or a ceremony or, I don't know, just something that you're going to celebrate because you're able to do it, to pull it off, to do it like a graduation mm -mm -mm. that's a really good card to get okay Oof. future energy six of pentacle in the reverse you're trying oh okay no yep <laughs> yep yep you're trying to make things balanced equal in your life or areas balanced out that are off balance you're trying to make those balanced right um wanting success and at the same time i have a card that suggests that there's a little bit of not in listening to your intuition when it says what direction to be going in how you're viewing your success your thoughts on that And enjoying the journey, even the uneven parts. So, the, we do these um, readings so that we see what energies are present, and then how how can we how can we change this? It, it feels like there might be a partnership or something that's in your life that is non reciprocal or just not very reciprocal at all. It, it feels like an energy. I'll be honest, that is, it, that like is holding you back somehow somehow some way because you're the wounded soldier like you've persevered you've stayed true now there's some big moves to make and I, i'm gonna say that it's gonna be about who you're gonna pledge your allegiance to if you want to say it like that who you're gonna pledge your allegiance to who do you want to make milestones with in the future who do you want it to be with Okay, you have many choices about this, obviously. You have the Two of Pentacles. You have many choices in what this is. Um, this is how you're feeling. Like you're doing a lot, but somehow, some way, because you're who you are, you're able to balance this and live here in this now moment. And you understand that. I think this has to do with somebody else. I really do. Although you're responsible for the thoughts, you're also responsible for listening to your intuition and what direction. I think it's really talking more about there's a new chapter because whatever you're around, there is some type of um, holding you back or contributing to this 
restricted feeling, not helping it, not helping you find freedom. Okay, in the environment, we have the hangman, so you could be kind of in between a few things, right? In between a few things, seeing things with a different perspective, but ultimately in this waiting period, but you know what's coming, or do you? I don't know. I don't know. The Page of Wands is looking at that um, soldier there that is, is exhausted, is tired, and it's saying, like, um, challenges for you to be a little bit more playful because something this is good news and that might be hard when you're exhausted <laughs> that might be hard when you're exhausted what's the hope or fear the seven of wands when you finally do decide to move forward advocate for yourself stand up for yourself assert yourself more or you're waiting on a sign you could be waiting on a sign there you go the fool <laughs> there's your sign um have faith in a new beginning coming out of denial when it comes to what is balanced and what is not balanced there's something that will be revealed to you regarding how to move past a stalemate or to make a tough decision that in a way could have been some sort of denial of something that's not working out strength card in reverse because this have to do with a leo 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 libra aquarius scorpio taurus leo maybe virgo pisces i don't know we've got a lot of energies here let's see <clears throat> The song, it's a, it will say parentheses violin. It's called War of Hearts. That might be something that is pertaining to this. Like when you listen to it, you might get a, you might get a message of what you're going through. Um, even though there's no words, it might, <laughs> the violin might have a message for you. Tell me about, um, just go ahead and tell me about it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I saw this one earlier in that deck. I just didn't say anything because because generally, if I see the, the judgment in the reverse, it feels to me like there was something or someone that there's so much of a memory of it. There's so much of a struggle of you having to rise like oh, they were your, I had to overcome this person in a way that even if they change what they, they might have a little bit or something, it's like, it's very hard to forgive completely. I get that. And so <clears throat> I don't even know if it's about forgiveness or just that it's part of this ash energy now, you know, dead and gone. Someone's energy to you is dead and gone. Oof. <laughs> That's harsh. But you know, I don't know what this energy did. I don't know what they did. I don't know why you can't, or why it's hard to forgive or something like that. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, maybe you just lost a lot of confidence. Like I said, they're part of this. It would have to be something completely new. This is something actually completely new. The Ace of Wands. It's a little sexual, this card, because so it could have something to do with passion or a romance or just being extremely inspired for your work. Could be that. Tell me about this future energy. Why we have two sixes in the reverse here, spirit? Another full. Okay. And the seven of wands, guys. Two seven of wands and two fools. <laughs> Have to talk about it. 
there's a fear of moving forward, taking a leap of faith on something to do with coming together in love and harmony. I know how silly that sounds as far as being so general, right? If there's something that's in the, uh, that you're ready for a journey, the, the full card is actually somebody who's come back from the mountain. Um, they're not going off on a journey. They've actually returned from a journey. And it's a journey that has left them with uh, a feeling of enlightenment. If you look at the old cards, which this is the old cards, that's why I brought them out to do it. The rod, or his, his staff here, the rod that his little backpack is, is on, is pointing to the seventh ray on the sun. So that has a very spiritual meaning, um, seven rays does. If you, if you just look it up, you're going to find everything from Christianity and art, from there being seven rays in, in um, paintings, to <laughs> occult seven rays to reiki being associated with something of the seven rays there's a lot with seven it has a lot of symbolism so there's something about this full energy saying now there's a new beginning because now you've returned from a journey of awakening and enlightenment and it has everything to do with how you're going to assert yourself next Seven, seven, seventh ray. Ow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. What about the heart of the matter? Tell me about the seven of pentacles now, please. Four swords. Resting, healing, hands are together. So you may be contemplating or communing with spirit, spirit guides, angels, taking that time out. It feels This feels like you've been in the fields planting your seeds all day long and you're tired. It feels like rest, recovery, rehab from a difficult situation. Sanity to rehab and baby, you're my disease. Remember that song? Gotta check into rehab and baby, you're my disease. It's patience with yourself with this healing. Let the heart heal. And both of these cards are suggesting that it's very wise to take time out right now, considerable amount of time before you make a huge, big decision. And that's why maybe this energy of um, stop, hang on, before we charge forward, hang on. More strategy, more information needs to come in. Yeah, this could even be like the, the not feeling like you don't have enough information even to make a decision. <laughs> maybe there doesn't even feel like there's a decision to be made. Maybe this, this energy here just feels um, held back somehow oh well why why are you showing us judgment in the reverse you're gonna have to explain more spirit <laughs> mother issues or motherly things or the pathway that's going to be shown from spirit to you as how to make your business grow more how it is that you can be independent of um, your situation letting go of heartbreak taking really good care of yourself how you can it's like a pathway like enlightenment of how you can do it all you can do it all and, and showing yourself self-love and putting these uh, painful things, the heartache, the pain in the past is, uh, is what's necessary. So if, if we have to practice kindness and forgiveness just to release the cord that somebody has on us or attached to us, then that's what needs to be done. There's a lot of healing here. Also, I'm getting the message, if you have some type of private business or side business that you do healing, because for some reason Reiki came out. 
of my mouth <laughs> of or any kind of energy healing that you do it's like you you are a healer and that's being acknowledged i don't know you could work in it and still be a healer you know what i'm saying so i, I don't know but showing yourself self-love receiving healing receiving downloads from spirit regarding this judgment energy And then this choice, this decision, taking better care of your health, that Queen of Cups, healing heart issues, opening the heart chakra, healing it, trusting again in the universe, trusting again maybe in the journey is yet to happen because like I said, we're in some kind of rest mode where we're, we're supposed to be contemplating, we're supposed to be healing. journey is yet to begin. I don't think you realize maybe how good it's going to get. And I'm not just saying that. I'm saying that because the Page of Wands is the good news card that is the challenge is seeing it. <laughs> so what about the sun in the reverse? The Empress. Shit. And the sun is like beaming down on the Empress here. If you can see that. The sun from this full energy is beaming down on the Empress. So this new beginning, this new leap of faith is on. Is supposed to be on your own abilities here uh, to be the Empress, to, uh, to multiply and exponentially grow anything that you touch, to be in control over all of the queens. So that would be queen of receiving mental clarity with the swords and good communicator. It would be the queen of receiving finances over um, all things practical and especially child care and domestic duties. Um, the empress would be the queen over compassion and having an open ear very easy to talk to has is a great listener. Lots would go to this person for guidance. And then you also have the Queen of Wands. So this Empress also is the Queen of receiving psychic gifts, abilities, and does not keep them to themselves. That's why they're the Empress. They share. And, the, and when they share, it ends up multiplying. And, and it's just a big cornucopia with this energy. <laughs> it's a big energy. Yeah, and the Ace of Pentacles, there is something new. There is a pathway that will be shown to you for sure. Whatever you create, it's going to be golden. Because you're so golden. <laughs> yeah, privileged lady. That, that's the empress. Knows how to receive, receive anything they want. Anything they want at any time. There's a lot of growth and embracing that divine feminine energy, male or female. What's the four of wands about? And the nine of wands. Well, damn. Well, damn, I had 11-11, and then out of it, you know, earlier I said there might be 11-11, and then here's an 11, and here's 7-7-7. Seven, seven, seven. Sevens are very significant in your reading, just period. Sevens are significant. There's sudden wealth, sudden, something about sudden wealth, goodness. When you do the things you do, that you do, do, do so well, for real, you've manifested this. Sudden wealth, because you didn't give up. Because you're the wounded soldier that knew that perseverance was key and that something good was coming. Because it feels like your consciousness is there in that 5D where you know what's ahead and it's something good. Like, you know that, right? There's the main female some type of waiting period and then of course the privileged lady wants to come out smack dab next to that um empress the thief in reverse if you feel like you've been wounded and uh, held back for a very long time energy vampires trying to steal your energy you get it back tenfold <laughs> actually more you're gonna get more and it might be because you have a belief that you're gonna get things tenfold or even more than that so isn't it important to evaluate your beliefs? And I would make them, I always say, if you're going to evaluate your belief system, I would make them as magical as can be. Like you've been saying that ever since I was little. <laughs> like, what? why wouldn't you choose something that felt good was always what I used to say. And so that's what's happening. 
is you're choosing what feels good. There's just a matter of opening up and letting go of the energies that might be holding you back. Could be people you've dealt with for a very long time. You have the pathway and you have change. So the pathway for some major change is here, Aries. It is here. Um, have you seen it yet? I don't know. Because of that coming out in the reverse, probably not yet. But it is here. Look, it's a secret. It's a secret. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ye of little faith. Your golden ships are coming in. Like, really, your ships are coming in. <laughs> There is a secret that has been kept from you. This is probably from your higher self or from your spirit guides or however you really want to view it. Um, they don't want you to know just how big this is. And the reason why is because it's going to make part of what makes it so fun for you. And it's going to be, they cannot deny it will be fun for them too to watch you receive golden ships. That's a lot of long-term um, stability there with your finances, guys. And that book, it's been a secret. It's been a secret. There's something about secret. There also can be something about hidden knowledge and you holding some kind of secret within you. Maybe you know things that other people, maybe you've always known things that um, you don't know how you know, you just know. Well, that's a secret too. If you think about it, no one taught it to you. It's inside you. Well, that's your secret. Wow, another 11. You got the uh, wealth card again. And the house here, your building, stability, you got 11-11 here. Wealth. One says you've won the um, casino <laughs> machine. The other says you find a trunk of, of uh, treasure. Oh, my goodness. Either way, you're coming into wealth. Wow. Somebody has an offer that they want to offer you, an unexpected proposal, something being proposed. You also could have somebody from the past wanting to, but I think you turn it down. Otherwise, this is something that's happening in the future. I think it's both. And for some of you all, I think it's both. Because there's an energy that you obviously know is holding you back. Okay, so you're not going back to that. Time out. Wound of the heart heals. And then this is what's coming. Here lately, I've been viewing the reversal in this deck as being like future energies or something that's coming in or future energy to deal with. Oh my God, how beautiful. Yeah, and then marriage, you're in the reverse on the bottom. So either it's a future energy coming towards you, it's the um, end, end, or it can be you splitting with from another energy. But here is the ring, like the world. This is an energy that uh, you're gonna feel so much desire um, this is like, a, I want to settle down and grow, grow, grow and become very wealthy with this energy. <laughs> whoever wants to put a ring on it. Not whoever. Let me not say it like that. Not just whoever. This is who can match an empress energy. Okay. This is an emperor. Surprised I didn't see the emperor come out. Actually. Hmm. But these are those energies that I said, if somebody was trying to take from you, even if it's like little by little, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. That's going to get sorted out. Especially the taking of energy little by little. Could be saying also to pay attention to finances because something is being taken out little by little and you may not realize it. And it could be corrected, something like that. I have sorrow in the reverse. Somebody's going to be very sad to see you go, but it's going to be part of this choice or decision that you make. The sun in reverse could be that you're keeping quiet about a decision that you're pretty sure that you know what you want to make or how you want to make it. I don't want to say that. Never mind. Court and then marriage is coming out again. So... An ending here on the bottom, which definitely says there's the end of one situation, Ash. Um, and then somebody wants, they see like what a catch you are. Let me just say it like that. They see what a catch you are. They see your potential and they see what's about to grow within you. And they want to give you everything and do it quick so that you're not um, on the market forever. Like this energy wants to swoop you up. You're theirs. 
in a good way, not a bad way. Oh, good Lord. And then the coffin again. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. And then the energy to come in the future. I think this is a rich gentleman because this is the divine counterpart to the privileged lady or the wealthy woman. 12 and 13, they both go side by side in the kipper. And the moon is fame, fortune. It's the new you that's getting fame, recognition, appreciation. This is someone to come in the future. Not too long. Not too long. It has something to do with you really being okay um, about moving past a horrible situation that you're going to put to an end. Cloudy. Didn't see right. Putting something to an end when you didn't see, see things right. Something was cloudy. And this... This union is going to be hope. You should be expecting the best or better here with expectation. The hope is like the star energy. It brings in a physical manifestation that you've been wanting, that you've been longing for, for a very long time. And the anchor, that to me has to do with like, if you're joining forces with someone, where are you going to, you know, toss your anchor? This is going to be the actual real you. When you fully step into the privileged lady energy, you may be the empress, but when you have your emperor too, this is major power couple vibe. And then it's going to keep, you're going to keep on like cells divide, right? In order to grow, they just keep dividing. This is like what you, what's happening with these new yous. You just keep dividing and multiplying into something better each time. This is like a constant, I'm seeing a constant glow up in my mind. This will be great, but trust me, there will be something even better even after this. Yeah, expectation. Expectation. This energy that um, I feel like is willing to take a risk on you or uh, whatever the others might consider it a risk, they're willing to take a risk on you. Um, and you're a bigger fish, you need a bigger pond. Look at, look at this like like the air were water okay if you want to act like a fish act like the air is water and you can still move around your obstacles easily with flow um and then the fish i mean use god's math there's a lot of prosperity there for you um you're gonna have a lot of access to new wealth resources including connections like new connections too with business and wealth all right, Aries, what a beautiful reading. That was a really good reading. Thanks for letting me do that. I have change in personal riches on the cut. <laughs> oh. I love it. Luck. <laughs> luck, a sudden change of luck is likely... Things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking. I want to say about the connections. And then also commitment. A commitment is indicated around business or love. And it says it will make you feel better. That sounds like something I would say in a read. It will make you feel better. Just trust. <laughs> Angel number. 999. Nine, nine. Thank the past for your lessons and leave it where it belongs so that you can make the best of a life that's waiting to be fulfilled by you and only you. Why? Because you're unique. Major closings, harvest here, endings, changes, all multiples of 3, 2, and you have master number 33. Any positive changes or projects you're considering right now will be well worth your while. Expect your power to manifest and create will be heightened. I am expanding. And you like literally can step into this role of like master teacher uh, with ascended masters when you have this card. This, this card is extremely good and supported by um, the big time teachers, right? All right, so I'm sending you so much love. Thanks for joining me. Bye.